So before we start, I need to touch on a few things. For this strawberry band, I will be using the X stitch single crochet, or some people call it cross stitch single crochet. As you can see, like the single crochet has this kind of like an X shape. I will teach you how to make the X stitch if you don't know how to do it. So don't worry. And then when making the bear, you will work in a continuous round, meaning you will not make any slip stitch. Just continue until the next round without a slip stitch. So to start, you will have to cut about 20 centimeters of yarn because this 20 centimeter yarn you will use it when you are doing the slip stitch later on. So you will keep 20 centimeter yarns aside for now, but I am not gonna cut it since I have two balls of yarn. So I'll be using this for slip stitch and this for the strawberry boy. So to start, I am going to make a magic ring. I know it's a little tricky for some of you guys, but we are going to do this slowly. So first, with your thumb finger and your middle finger, hold on to the end of your yarn. And then wrap the yarn around your fingers. And then kind of like make an X shape at the back. And then turn your finger around. So I am using 3.0 millimeter hook. And then grab the second yarn like so and twist it. You can see it is twisted, right? And then once you twisted it like this, I'm just going to remove my finger from the circle like so, but I am still keeping the shape like so. And then I am going to chain one. So now you are going to insert six single crochet into the magic ring. As I said, we're going to use the X stitch so insert your hook into the magic ring and instead of yarning over like this like how we usually do our single crochet we are going to yarn under so basically insert your hook into the magic ring yarn under like so and then yarn over and pull through both loops so this is the first single crochet so take your stitch marker you can use um, a bobby pin or a clip and mark every first stitch for every round because we are going to be working in continuous rounds so this is very important so now go ahead and make five more single crochet into the magic ring so now i have one two three four five and six single crochet in my magic ring for this tail, you are going to bring it outside like so. Then go ahead and pull the tail so that the magic ring close. So when you pull it, just make sure that there is no more hole in the middle. You see there is no more hole in the middle. We are going to move on to round two. So remove your stitch marker. So now we are going to insert two single crochet in each of this stitch. So. Insert your hook into the first stitch. Also, remember to carry the tail because you don't want to weave it in later. So just yarn under and make the first single crochet. And then insert another single crochet into the same stitch. Then take your stitch marker and mark the first stitch of the round. So basically, you're going to insert an increase in every stitch so by an increase i mean inserting two single crochet into the same stitch so now whenever i say an increase meaning you have to insert two single crochet into the same stitch so go ahead and make an increase in every stitch so now i am doing the last increase So moving on to round 3, you are going to insert an increase in the first stitch, 1 and 2. And then mark the first stitch. In the next stitch, you are going to insert 1 single crochet. So basically the pattern is, um, you are going to make an increase and then 1 single crochet. Increase one single crochet so you are going to repeat that until the end of this round so i am now doing the last increase and shoot so now moving on to round four for round four and five you are just going to insert 
one single crochet in each stitch so for round four and five you are going to just insert one single crochet in each stitch until the end of this round now i am doing the last two stitches one and two so now moving on to round six first you're going to insert one single crochet into the first stitch and then remember to mark the first stitch for every round then in the next stitch you're going to insert an increase so just make two single crochet into the same stitch and then in the next two stitches you're going to insert one single crochet so one single crochet in the next stitch and then one single crochet in the next stitch so basically the pattern is an increase and then one single crochet in the next two stitches an increase and then one single crochet into the next two stitches so just repeat this until you are left with two stitches at the end okay so for the last two stitches you're going to insert one increase and then one single crochet this is because earlier in the round you already insert one single crochet so you just have to in make an increase right here and then insert one single crochet in the last stitch like so so now for round seven you are going to insert one single crochet all around so just insert one single crochet until the end of this round now i am doing the last two stitches now for round eight in the first stitch you are going to insert an increase so insert one more single crochet in the same stitch so now i have an increase right here and then you are going to insert one single crochet into the next three stitches so two and three and then make an increase one two and then make one single crochet in the next three stitches one two and three so basically you're just going to repeat this exact same step until the end of this round so i am now doing the last increase one two and three now just remove your stitch marker and insert one single crochet into the next stitch and then mark the first stitch So for round 9 and 10, you are just going to insert one single crochet until the end of this round. Now I am doing the last 3 stitches. 1, 2, and 3. For the next round, just insert one single crochet and then mark it with a stitch marker and then insert two more single crochet. So basically, one single crochet in the next stitch and then one single crochet in the next stitch. So you have three single crochet and then in the next stitch, you're going to do an increase and then make four single crochet so insert one single crochet into the next four stitches two three and four and then make an increase one two then after you have done the increase just insert one single crochet in the next four stitches like so so two three and four 
four. So just continue this pattern until you reach the last two stitches right here. So when you reach this last two stitches, in this stitch you are going to insert an increase. So one and two. And then in the last stitch you are going to insert one single crochet. Okay, so for the next round, you are going to start by making 13 single crochet. So I just make one single crochet in the next 13 stitches. So this is my first stitch. So I am going to continue making 12 more. 2, 3. Before you finish off this 13th stitch, you are going to take your white yarn and... Pull through the two loops. So this is how you're going to be changing your color. So in the next stitch, you are just going to insert one single crochet. Also remember to carry the pink yarn and also the tail of the white yarn. So, so now with the white yarn, you are going to insert seven more single crochet. Basically, you will have a total of eight single crochet with the white yarn so insert seven more two three four five also now that i have carried the white cell enough i'm just gonna let it be at the back and not work over it anymore so one two three four five six seven so one two three four five six seven and before you finish off this last stitch take your pink yarn yarn over and pull through both loops again this is how you're going to change the color into the next color so now with this pink yarn you are going to go ahead and make 14 single crochet also remember to carry this white yarn with you as you work over the single crochet so with this pink yarn you're just going to go ahead and make 15 single crochet by 15 single crochet i mean you are just going to insert one single crochet in each stitch until you reach the end of this round so for the next round, you are just going to insert 12 single crochet. To start, just insert 1 single crochet and then mark it with your stitch marker. So just continue inserting 11 more single crochet. So in the end, you will have a total of 12 single crochet with the pink yarn. Before you finish off this last stitch, take your white yarn and pull through the two loops so i'm just going to adjust this a little so that it looks like all the other single crochet so now with the white yarn you are going to insert 10 single crochet so this is your first stitch so just continue making nine more two three and before you finish off the last stitch again change your color into the pink yarn then adjust this again a little okay so now just insert one single crochet until the end of the round or if you want to count the stitches it is 14 single crochet one two three so just go ahead and continue this until the end of the round and now i am making my last stitch so this is the 14th stitch. For round 14 and round 15, you are going to repeat round 13. So basically, first you're going to insert 12 single crochet with the pink yarn and then 10 single crochet with the white yarn and then 14 single crochet with the pink yarn. So just do this for two more rows. And I'll see you once you are done with round 14 and round 15. So now I'm doing the last two stitches for round 15. So moving on to round 16. First, we are going to do three single crochet. So insert one single crochet in the next three stitches. 
So one, two, and three. So this round is where we are going to start making a decrease instead of an increase. So to make a decrease, as you can see right here, this is the front loop and this is the back loop. This is the front loop, this is the back loop. So you are going to insert your hook through the front loop only of these two stitches. So first insert your hook into the first stitch like so, only the front loop. And then in the next stitch, insert your hook again through the front loop only. So now you have three loops on your hook. Also again, remember to carry the white yarn. So now just pull through the front two loops. Yarn over and pull through two. So once you're done with the decrease, you're going to insert one single crochet in the next six stitches. So please don't get confused on where you have done the decrease. As you can see like this two, this stitch is where we have done the decrease. So you are supposed to work your one single crochet in this next stitch. So make one single crochet. One. So just continue the single crochet until you have done a total of six single crochet. And six. Now we're going to make a decrease on these two stitches right here. So make a decrease. Up. And then before you finish off the decrease, and then just change your yarn into the white, like so. Now you're just going to insert one single crochet in the next two stitches. So one and two. And then in the next stitch, you're going to do a decrease. So yarn under and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. And then make one single crochet in the next four stitches. So one, two, three, and once you have reached the fourth stitch, you are going to change your color into the pink yarn. So pull through two. So you're going to make a decrease in these two stitches. So insert your through the front loop of the first stitch and then front loop of the second stitch. Then yarn under, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. Now go ahead and insert one single crochet in the next four stitches. One, two, three, and four. So go ahead and repeat the same pattern which is one decrease and four single crochet until you are left with three stitches. Now you have three stitches left. First you're going to make a decrease in the first two stitch right here. So make a decrease and then in the last stitch you're going to insert one single crochet. So this is how the bare face looks like and the inside. Okay so moving on to the next round we're going to make a decrease in the first stitch. So just make a decrease in the first stitch like so. And then remember to mark the first stitch. Okay, so now we're not going to use the white yarn anymore. So go ahead and cut your yarn. And set aside this white yarn because you are not going to use it anymore. So for now, we're just going to carry this white yarn. But if you feel like you have carried it enough, you can just let it go and don't work over it anymore. You can put it inside your strawberry bear because it's going to be hiding inside the strawberry anyway. So now, after you have done the decrease, in the next 3 stitches, you are going to insert 1 single crochet. So 1, 
two and three and then make a decrease in the two stitches and then make three single crochet so one two and three so that is the pattern so you are just going to continue making a decrease and three single crochet until the end of this round now i am making the last decrease so one decrease and three single crochet one two and three so now moving on to round 18 so in the first stitch you're going to make one single crochet again mark the first stitch and then in the next two stitches you are going to insert a decrease one decrease and then insert one single crochet in the next two stitches so one and two then just make another decrease and then make two single crochet so one and two so just continue the pattern of one decrease and two single crochet until you are left with three stitches at the end so now i am left with three stitches so in the First two stitch right here, you are going to insert one decrease. So one decrease and then in the last stitch, just insert one single crochet. So this is how it looks like. So before we move on to the next round of the strawberry body, you're going to take the yarn that I asked you to cut earlier in the video so before we step stitch into the bare face you are going to place a stitch marker inside the loop of our last stitch so when you slip stitch around the bare face you are going to follow the white stitch as your guide so basically when you see the white stitch is kind of like going straight then your slip stitch is going to go straight but then when you see there is kind of some curve to the white stitch then your slip stitch is going to go curvy following the white stitch so to start i'm going to insert my hook right here so insert your crochet hook like so so first you are going to make a regular slip knot and then grab your slip knot and place it through your crochet hook like so and then i am just going to tighten the slip knot and then pull your slip knot through your strawberries but make sure that the slip knot doesn't go all the way through also you have to make sure that your working yarn is inside of your strawberry it's not going to be outside like how we usually do it but instead it's going to be inside of your strawberry so this is where i insert my slip knot just now so you're just going to make your slip stitch by following your white stitch as a guide and also you can see this little line this indicates each of your row so basically you are going to follow that too you're going to insert your slip stitch at each rows and also following the white stitch line so you're going to insert your slip stitch into the next row like right here from the inside you yarn over and pull up a loop like so so you have two loops on your hook this is so you have two loops on your hook and then just pull through the first loop like so so that is how you're going to do the slip stitch so just continue following the white line and the row as a guide so i'm just gonna do the slip stitch and then this one kind of have like a curve to it so instead of like inserting it straight we're going to follow the curve and insert it kind of like a little to the side this part also had kind of have like a curve to it so you're just going to follow the white stitch and insert your slip stitch now instead of inserting your hook through this part you're going to insert your hook at this part So 
so now once you have like one more space to do your slip stitch you are just going to cut your yarn about like this much now pull through the loop like so now just take your darning needle and thread your yarn into the needle and we are going to use this to make a fake slip stitch so to create your fake slip stitch you are going to insert your needle through the first slip stitch of the round and then pull through like so and then insert your needle again through the middle of the last slip stitch i hope you can see it like you can see this slip stitch right here and this is the middle so just insert it and then bring your needle to the inside like so so this is the flex slip stitch so just adjust your yarn a little so that it, this the flex slip stitch kind of look like the other slip stitch okay, so now it kind of like blends in with the other slip stitch so just flip your strawberry inside out like so so you're going to find two excess yarn in the inside there is one from the slip stitch and also one from the slip knot that we did before so with these two yarn you are going to tie it together this is to make sure that they are really secure and so that the slip stitch won't move at all so just tie this two to three times and make sure it's really secure So just insert the excess yarn into the strawberry and it will be hiding inside the strawberry like so. So this is how this slip stitch looks like and the bare face should look like this. Now before you move on to the next round, this is where you are going to start stuffing your strawberry with fiber fill or scrap yarn. You can honestly check the fiber fill from all pillows. So I am just going to stuff this off camera and i'll see you once i'm done with it so i have done stuffing my strawberries and so now we're going to move on to the next round so you're going to remove the stitch marker from your loop so now just insert your hook and then remove the stitch marker that is inside your first stitch so in the first two stitches you are going to make a decrease just make one decrease and then mark it with your stitch marker and then you're going to insert one single crochet in the next stitch this is how i hold my strawberry like this i just put my middle finger inside so that it gives me more control this way so then in the next stitch make a decrease again yarn under and pull through two and then make one single crochet so you are going to repeat the pattern of one decrease and one single crochet until the end of the round so now i am doing the last decrease of this round and then one single crochet oh one single crochet so this is our last round for the strawberry. For this last round, you are just going to insert a decrease in each of this stitch until the end of the round. So you are going to make six decrease for all, all around. So you're going to make six decrease all around. So mark the first stitch. So this is my first decrease and then my second decrease so just continue this until you have done six decrease now just cut the yarn and left about this bit and pull through the loop so with your darning needle we are going to sew this hole closed so we are left with six stitches now this is our last stitch of the last round and this is our first stitch for this round so just insert your needle into the first stitch of this round but only the front loop so 
So just continue inserting your darning needle and your yarn through the front loop only for five more stitches. So once you're done, you're just going to pull the tail close like so. You can see there is no more hole in the middle of the head. So then just insert your needle again through the middle of the head like so. And then pull through the needle at any space you'd like. This is just to weave in the excess yarn. So I'm just going to pull this here. And then... Insert your needle at the same space where you just pull through your needle. So insert it in the same space and then pull through at and then pull through at any space you'd like. So I'm just gonna do this for one more time. So then I'm just gonna pull out the needle and cut the excess yarn like so while leaving a little bit. Then I am just going to insert the excess yarn into the strawberry with my plastic needle. So now this is how the strawberry body looks like and now we are going to move on to the next round which is making the leaf and also the ears. To make the ear first you are going to do a magic ring. So just make your regular magic ring and chain one. And I am still using the X stitch single crochet, so two, three, Four, then just pull the tail so that the middle close so just pull it until there is no more hole in the middle so this is how the ears look like so you're just going to cut the yarn and leave a really long tail because you're going to use this tail to sew on the ears later so just pull through so now you're just going to repeat this step and do the other ear so now we are going to do the leaf part so first you're going to make a magic ring so hold your yarn wrap it around your finger and grab onto the second loop right there and then i'm just going to chain one so once you have done your magic ring you are going to insert 11 single crochet into your magic ring so this is my first single crochet and then two three so just continue inserting the single crochet until you have a total of 11 single crochets so i now have 11 single crochet in my magic ring so i'm just gonna pull the tail so that the middle close so there is no more hole in the middle now go ahead and insert a slip stitch into the first single crochet that we did now you are going to make four chain so three and four now we are going to make our stitches into this chain so insert one single crochet into the second chain from your hook so one single crochet and then in the next stitch you are going to make one half double crochet so to make a half double crochet you're just going to yarn over and insert your hook through your stitch and then pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all three loops that are on your hook and then in the next stitch you're going to make one double crochet so to make a double crochet you're just going to yarn over and insert your hook through your stitch and pull up a loop like so and then yarn over and pull through two yarn over and pull through two then you're going to make one slip stitch into the next stitch from our last slip stitch so this is the part where we're going to make our slip stitch so 
sorry let me just do it again okay so insert one slip stitch and then again chain four one two three and four and then make one single crochet in the second chain and then make one half double crochet into the next stitch and make one double crochet into the next stitch and then insert one slip stitch into the next stitch so you're just going to continue this step until you have a total of eight leaf and i'll see you once you're done now i am doing the last slip stitch for my leaf so i'm just gonna insert my last slip stitch there then go ahead and make a chain one for this leaf part you have two options so one you're going to cut a really long tail because you're going to use the tail to sew on the leaf onto the strawberry body but second option is you are just going to cut a short tail and then secure the two excess yarn at the back and then use a hot glue gun or a super glue and glue it on top of the strawberry head so i am going to be using option two because i don't like sewing so i will be showing you how to secure this at the back First, just cut the yarn and leave about this much and pull through. And then you're just going to pull this yarn so that the chain one kind of like tighten up. And then just tie the two yarn at the back. Just tie it about two to three times to make sure that it's really secure. So this is how my leaf looks like and I have a total of eight leaf so you will have to make sure that there are three leaf on the front and three at the back also there are two leaf that are straight and they are facing each other like this that is where you are going to be sewing the strawberry ears for this part i am going to fast forward because honestly there is no right or wrong when sewing the strawberry ears but I am just going to leave this in the video in case there is someone out there that maybe need a little help or confused as to where to sew it. But if you feel like you can do this alone, then you can just skip this and move on to the face. So this is our final step for the strawberry bear. We'll make the eyes blush and the strawberry seeds. I am using a brown four ply yarn and any ply is fine. So just cut about 20 centimeters long. Now you are going to pull the yarn apart and you will find four strands of yarn. So just take two strands from the yarn and we are going to use it to sew on the eyes. Now just thread your yarn into your darning needles. Okay, to sew on the eyes at the center of this white stitch, count three stitches start from the right. So just count one, two, and three. Then just insert your needle anywhere at the pink yarn, but make sure that you pull through in between the round 14 and round 15, which is here. Also, you have to make sure that you left some yarn here. This is so that we can secure the yarn later. Then just insert your needle again at the bottom row, like so, and then just pull through. So just repeat this for two more times until the eyes is much more visible. When you insert it for the third time, insert it at the bottom like usual, then count three stitches from the left. So one, two, three, and then pull through in between round 14 and round 15. So just pull through the needle like so. And then I'm just going to adjust the eyes a little. And then at the bottom row, you are just going to insert your needle and then 
pull through at the same space when you just pull through. So just repeat this for two more times. So just do another one. Now for the third one, you are just going to insert it at the usual place and then bring it out at where the excess yarn is. So this is so that we can secure it together. Now just tie the two ends together. Just tie two to three times. And then grab your scissors and cut the yarn. Then I'm going to use these plastic needles and push the excess yarn so that it's going to be hiding inside the strawberry. Now just 